Hello viewers, this is Dr. Rana and in this video I am going to explain that how you can construct three dimensional geometries using COMSOL. You can subscribe to my channel Scientific Rana. So I will start with quickly uh, the COMSOL. You can see that this is by the framework of the COMSOL, the layout of the COMSOL in which uh, you are now very well aware of uh, the different uh, types of the options. So I basically focus on the geometry because the model I am using is three dimensional. You can directly uh, see the component I have chosen as a three dimensional. Uh, so with the complex three dimensional means that sometimes you have to construct the geometries which is uh, not available here uh, as a default. Like in the geometry something is available here. You can see that blocks, cones, helical, helix type of structures are available here. But if you wish to construct uh, different types of structures, complex structures in the uh, COMSOL, so you have to uh, construct it by your own. So you can use a basic mathematics to construct uh, this type of function. Like if I start with uh, the problem the based on Archimedic spiral, you can see that this simple equation can construct this type of spiral. This is the parametric form of and the polar form of this equation and you can uh, use the polar form and even uh, using the polar you can uh, convert it to the uh, parametric form and you can use it to construct this spiral. So I wish to uh, construct the three dimensional spiral which is of Archimedean uh, you, you can say the Archimedean type of spiral and uh, the model is available in the Wikipedia you can uh, search it and otherwise uh, there is uh, options are available. Uh, in the blog of COMSOL you can see I am going to uh, use uh, the Archimedean spiral which is actually a base of clock mechanism like this type of spiral you can see here this is actually uh, the picture made by uh, the global force and you can see that I can uh, how I can go for uh, construction of the three dimensional spiral uh, with the COMSOL so I will start with the COMSOL so in the COMSOL if you are using the basic mathematics then you have to uh, take care of some basic functions so global declaration is ok you can uh, go with the parameters you can declare the variables for the geometry also even for the problem but also for the geometry you can declare like if I say that I will declare a1 which is mean that a is basically you can say that initial spiral radius so one means you are uh, choosing a one units say one meter and next is b so base is actually this uh, wikipedia you can just go through it you can easily understand that how this uh, curve works and how b is changing uh, uh, as compared to a so i am uh, constructing that function so b is uh, here you can say that if i say a is initial i have to use a initial I means you can say a1 is initial and a2 you can say that final because it's a spiral so initially the uh, radius is small and it's gone increasing so final radius i will choose as 10 so final initial uh, spiral radius So next uh, what I wish that how much uh, number of turns this radial will take say it is n so I will take 4 turns to uh, reach from 1 radius to 10. So you can say that it is a number of spiral turns. So now another thing that what about the thickness you wish to construct the thickness I use uh, thickness is ok I can use it uh, 1 yeah you can write it thickness of thickness of a spiral next thing is uh, you can say that uh, the angle which is used by this so angle is I can say the initial angle is theta uh, 0 or theta i theta 0 is ok Hey, it is 0 initially so I can say that it is initial angle 
so you can use this b parameter which is actually you can say that the expression will be uh, like this a 2 minus a 1 this is the difference between the radius upon the number of turns so this is uh, like this and the factor it will be multiplied like 2 into pi this factor will be the multiply this is the formula is given in the wikipedia the value is uh, found out to be 0 0.3581 so this is uh, the important thing which you have so we can say that this is basically a growth rate of uh, spiral growth rate you can say that and uh, parallelly you can uh, go for the next this is called theta final and theta final is actually is the same like a2 minus a1 and it will uh, divided by you can say that b so this is actually the value this is a theta final angle value is this if you wish to change uh, the spiral radius like if i wish to change it's like 5 and you can see that this will automatically uh, change and here the value is the same because the 5 is parallelly the theta will not be changed and if I wish to use it as a 7 this value will change this is not because your number of turns is same if you change the value of this then this value will change so I will fix with the 10 or you can say that 5 with the 3 number of turns so it will give you a spiral if you make a dense spiral it is up to you so this is uh, the value uh, I can uh, use uh, later on so this is basically your uh, final angle so you can see that you know that uh, by the Archimedes uh, the spiral equation I have used r is equal to a b t t is basically the theta here angle is this r is basically the uh, polar radius the r is basically the radius in the polar form is there when you wish to uh, convert into Cartesian form you know that x is equal to r cos uh, t and y is equal to the basic equation you can substitute here and this will give you the parametric equation of the spiral and I am going to construct this so firstly I construct this function x and y so in order to use or construct this function you can go here in the definition in the definition you right click and go to the function you wish to construct the analytic function so you can write the name as x function or whatever you wish to write expression for this you can write here the argument here argument we are using t here and you can write and uh, nothing you in the blue you uh, it should keep remain closed you should not be focused on any of this so i'll directly go for the expression i know that the expression i have used is a1 plus b1 multiply cotangent of uh, t sorry it's t into contingent of t so this is the simple function which i have used and similarly i will go for the variable function y second function is our y function so y1 i can use So I can use t as an argument and similarly a1 plus uh, you can say that b so I'll go back I wish to check yeah b I have used so I'll go on convert changes as a b so b I have used basically is this and sign of t so this is your two main functions and if I go to construct the geometry of these two function so it is very easy you can go for the, this geometry and firstly go for the work plane as you know that and the work plane the plane geometry you can go for the parametric curve in the parametric curve minimum uh, maximum you will uh, decide on the basis of your value of theta so you can write theta 0 here theta final here so this is this and the function you can use is x1 and 
basically y fun if you wish to construct this so they are saying that geometry is global domain one x one is one problem is is the is the main thing is that what do you have used chosen you have written only x one if you wish to construct the function you have to write it with the argument problem is that you can see this the variable t is your main but here you use the parameter name s so you can you have to change this as a t then you construct it yeah this is your uh, the spiral type of uh, geometry is formed but this is only the uh, one dimensional geometry but your uh, idea you have used this idea to construct 2d or 3 dimensional geometry so i'm going to construct uh, one more line parallel to it you can easily construct it by